Welcome to Beer Barbecue Baseball. Warhammer Imperial India Pale Ale. Very cool label. Made by Four Hands Brewing Company out of St. Louis, Missouri. I believe they're down off of 7th Avenue, just down the street from Bush Stadium. Cool label. I used to work right next door to this, um, their building, their brewery. Pairs well with chocolate cake, it says. I don't have any chocolate cake, so we'll have to take their word for it. I love the skyline down there. Um, let's see if we can get a brood on. But the release dates on this is only May and June. So it's got to be pretty fresh because we're at the uh, tail end of May. So 9% alcohol by volume. 83 IBUs. This is going to be a big beer, um, which I'm kind of in the need for. I've been doing some reviews on some low-calorie, low-carb beers, so I'm kind of in the need for this thing right now. So let's get into it. Very hazy. Sorry if you hear some yelling and screaming in the background. Wow, I can smell that from here. Big, big aroma. I mean, big aroma. Hmm, man. A lot of citrus notes, uh, pineapple. It did say it had a combination of Northwestern hops, so surprised I'm getting that much fruit. So this one may be a little longer, so stick with me here. Wow. I mean, there, there's some citrus there, but I'm getting something else right after it, and it's kind of strong. It's not boozy by any means, but let's get a taste on it. Quit talking about it. Wow. 9% alcohol by volume. 83 IBUs. There's a little bit of the hops right there. Very, very smooth until you get to the end. And then there's just a little subtle touch of hops laying on the back of your tongue. I was figuring this thing would be super crazy. I mean, hoppy, bitter, chew it before you swallow it kind of beer. I'm sure it's probably going to get a little more bitter as we go here. Let it open up. Let it breathe a little bit. I'm getting some different aromas now as I swirl it. It's... I wish I knew what the hops were. It's going to sound crazy, but as I'm... Giving it a little toss here I almost smell sauerkraut does that sound crazy but I'm, I'm getting sauerkraut notes which I like sauerkraut but I'm getting that and it's crazy but it is a gorgeous looking beer nice lacing I'm just amazed how smooth this beer is. I'm sure after drinking it, I'm going to feel it. That's for sure. It's definitely not a sessionable beer, but it goes down like a sessionable beer. Wow. 
It was just amazing. If you can get this beer, I highly recommend it. And again, it's only out for a short time. The release is May through June. Again, it's Warhammer and Imperial India Pale Ale. And this thing is pretty amazing. I'm still getting that sauerkraut smell. I mean, it's just, it's just crazy. Hmm. All right, let's rate this thing. I'm going to give it a 4.75 because this is a big beer. It doesn't taste like a big beer. It's not boozy. At 9%, you think this thing, you would get some kind of booziness out of it and 83 IBUs, but I don't. And normally people don't like to smell a sauerkraut, but I think this beer smells really good. Originally, it smelled like citrus, and I'm not getting that at all anymore. 4.75 out of 5 from Beer Barbecue Baseball. If you can find it, get it, get your hands on it. It's only out for another, it's only out for two months, but only another month and a half, maybe. You might be able to find it a little bit into July. Uh, but St. Louis Market should have it anywhere. Uh, four hands distributes all over here in St. Louis. So if you find it, check it out. Thanks for watching.